Hello everyone. I am here in uh, downtown Pueblo. It's about a quarter after 6 a.m. in the morning and it is beginning to transition from nighttime light, basically where it's just dark, the sun is not illuminating the sky very much, to blue hour. And the reason I'm downtown here is is because where I live, there's very little in, 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 in terms of artificial light or street light. Something also to, to think about when it comes to uh, artificial light these days is that um, the, 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 the more massive use of LED, uh, light emitting diode, uh, type of light, which is usually going to be balanced toward the daylight. So those LEDs that you're seeing on the uh, on the street light there is balanced pretty close to uh, the the 5500K that we use in the studio, and so it's going to look uh, relatively clean. You can see in contrast, however, the artificial light inside this this building here. Uh, is quite warm, uh, almost orange. Now that is because I have the white balance on the camera set to uh, set to daylight, and so the balance is going to be uh, during the daylight. That's why you're seeing whatever artificial light uh, is is hitting uh, a rather warm color. So the idea uh, behind this portion of the experiment is to work in contrast uh, of color. Uh, in other words, um, you're working at that transition between the blue hour, you can see the sky is beginning to kind of brighten up, and at nighttime, where there is uh, an even distribution of, uh, of, of artificial light. And you can see it's getting closer and closer. Even as uh, we're, we're speaking, uh, I am starting to see there being more of a, a balance between all of that, um, all of that light, and so uh, the idea is to find yourself a good location. I'm probably completely out of focus here, but that's okay. Um, a completely um, a, a, a a balanced location. Uh, I found this sort of area uh, to work pretty well. It doesn't have to be a massively lit area or anything like that. What you're really looking for is is that balance, so that you can make choices about uh, what how the color balance is going to work. Uh, in other words, are you going to uh, set your camera and highlight the daylight that's happening here, uh, so that the daylight is the balance, or are you going to set your camera to perhaps the light bulb, the tungsten, or some other uh, in-between setting for your white balance so that your color is um, uh, shifting to different to different colors. You can see I'm very warm here because the primary light is coming from the artificial light that's hitting me, and so therefore I look very warm because I have my camera set on um, on the daylight uh, on the daylight setting. So the idea uh, is to go ahead and and find a location and to explore a variety of color settings um, with the two types of light going on. It has to be at at, at blue hour, so it can be uh, later in the day as the sun has already set and it's not quite gone out, or it could be like this uh, early in the morning. Um, you know, right now I think it's again it's probably six twenty or something like that in the morning. Um, but what you want is for the daylight and the, the artificial light to be in, in relative balance together so that it um, neither one is overpowering the other. You can see we're pretty much getting that, um, you know, here. We're getting where the daylight is really starting to come on. This is the, uh, the horizon as the sun is kind of coming up over the... Um, over the horizon. It's not quite there yet. You can see it wants to come out, but it's not quite there yet. I do have my camera again set on uh, on the white balance as, on daylight. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off and then turn and, and switch to, um, to tungsten, and we'll see what the difference is. So, as you can see, that's a pretty dramatic shift. I have now shifted the white balance to the tungsten setting, which is more balanced toward the artificial lighting. And you can see that 
everything has changed. Look how clean the artificial light looks now. You can see that the indoor light, even though it's still relatively warm, um, has shifted almost completely to, uh, you know, to, to, to a balance. And you now you can see how, how very uh, cold and blue the, uh, um, the, the daylight is, has become. So this is basically what you're exploring here as we work with uh, the variety of, of color settings that we have as I just switched the, uh, the balance there. As we work with the variety of color settings, now you can see that the light hitting me, which is all this artificial light that's hitting me, is now uh, quite balanced. So this is, the, this is what you're exploring with, with mixed lighting. You're going to create compositions and you're going to go ahead and um, and work with a variety of different color settings in your camera to explore uh, this sort of mixed lighting scenario. You're picking which of the type of light is going to be the hero in the in, in the image. So that's that's uh, mixed lighting. That's what you're going to be exploring for that. Um, it's kind of fun because you get to to sort of manipulate uh, you know the the environment in a way by by setting things uh, differently in your camera. So uh, you guys have a wonderful uh, break, uh, and we will see you guys uh, on the other side uh, of the week. All right. Bye-bye now.